when you're in those states that it's not just esoteric, it's not just energy, but actually the way that you experience your body, very simply, you know, on a sensory level, there's a shift. Mm -hmm. Is that part of what happens when you're in those deep states of connection with nature? Most definitely. I mean, our work is uh, so similar, and like you said, the convergence of our, of our life paths at this moment um, really points at something that's critical right now. And we know that the body state, you know, from our work in deep nature connection, that the body state is us being nature, essentially. That when we are nature, we're in the optimal health, and when that energy flows through us, we're, we're at the best that we can be. As we do this deep nature connection work, we often get people into that peaceful state first, and then it starts to reconnect with something. And I don't know where that something is, but it definitely exists, because it's so consistent. And that something is some ancestral memory, or something locked in our DNA, or in the bone marrow, or in some energetic field, where a, an old trauma it, exists. And it, it, I believe it was the trauma when the indigenous ancestor that lies in every single human being was separated from their indigenous ancestry, and their original place. Right? And when that, when that comes up, it brings up a kind of trauma that's difficult for our nature connection mentors to deal with in the moment, uh, in that we, we're just trying to get this kid to enjoy nature, and all of a sudden he's in this trauma state. So the, the working for tools that, that help, the kinds of things you're working with right now, are really important to us. And uh, we really would embrace an opportunity to learn more tools of how to work with body sensing to strengthen our work as nature connection mentors. Yeah, yeah. Good. That's what it was. <laughs> and even the thing you said about the indigenous womb. Yeah.